Planet Nine shock. Astronomer reveals how Planet Nine was ejected from the solar system. This is by Sebastian Ketley on Express UK. Planet Nine was forcibly ejected out of the solar system by Saturn or Jupiter. This is what an astronomer shockingly revealed about the theoretical Planet Nine. Well, it's theoretical because they have not yet found it, even though they believe it's there and they believe they know where its orbit is and how it uh, rotates around the sun every 10, 20,000 years because of the gravitational pull on the outside planets, the way they're heating up, and it, that it has even tilted our sun six degrees. Planet Nine, theoretical world lurking in the darkness of our space, in the far fringes of our solar system, beyond the so-called Kuiper belt, and it's, in, well, it's not as far as the Oort cloud. It didn't say anything about the Oort cloud, which is near the bow shock of our uh, solar system, but it's beyond the Kuiper belt, it said. An asteroid belt passed the orbit of Neptune. Astronomers are certain that objects 10 times the mass of Earth exist beyond the Kuiper belt because of the way certain asteroids appear to clump together. According to NASA, Planet 9 checks out mathematically, but to date, there have been no physical observations of the mystery planet, and yet researchers of the California Institute of Technology, Caltech, are positive it's only a matter of time before we hunt down and find Planet Nine. Now, they do have amateur astronomers doing that right now as we speak. These amateur astronomers have even been responsible for finding unseen asteroids. They're in fact helping space agencies because the space agencies don't have enough employees to do this. Now, uh, one of the optimistic scientists is Dr. Michael Brown, and he has a lecturer professor who is uh, Batigan. They work together on this. Dr. Brown originally prosed that Planet Nine theory in 2016. The astronomy professor at Caltech has now said he's fairly certain of the planet's origin stating it formed alongside the icy world of Neptune. But unlike Neptune, Planet Nine was not afforded the luxury of staying within the boundaries of our solar system. Speaking to Linda Moulton Howe of uh, Coast to Coast AM Radio, Dr. Brown said, our hypothesis is that it is a version of Neptune. In fact, we think we know when and how it formed. We think it formed at the same time alongside Uranus and Neptune, but then got a little bit too close to Saturn or a little too close to Jupiter and got ejected out to the outskirts of the solar system. We think it formed there and we think it's like Neptune. Dr. Brown went on to explain how Planet Nine follows an elliptic orbit of the Sun, coming at times close to the Kuiper Belt. The scientist estimates the rogue planet orbits the Sun from a distance between 100,000 AU to 200,000 AU, where just one AU, or astronomical uh, unit, AU for short, measures 93 million miles, which is the distance between the Sun and our Earth. When Planet Nine comes closer to the solar system, its gravitational effects influence the asteroids and wars planets in the Kuiper Belt. So from this, Dr. Brown and his fellow astronomers have been able to deduce Planet Nine takes somewhere between 10,000 to 20,000 years to complete its orbit around the Sun. He said, it's really, really far away. It's not particularly bright, but it's bright enough that we should be able to go and find it. The big telescopes of the world are the ones that we're going to be using to do it, and our favorite telescope for the task is a super telescope on the Mount of Mauna Kea, on the big island of Hawaii. He says it's the biggest telescope in the world. It has a really wide field of view camera, and that's the way to do it. You get to look at a lot of the sky, and once we're going out there in about six weeks to resume our search, the astronomer then expresses hopes it will only be another five years before Planet Nine is tracked down. Now, in one of the videos before this one today that we posted, we, he did explain that it is dark. The further away from the sun it is, of course, the sun's rays don't reach it that, that well, and it is dark. That's why 
the telescopes can't pick it up. It's too faint to be picked up. So uh, the astronomers then express uh, his hopes that it will only be another five years before Planet Nine is tracked down. When this happens, the discoverer will have the honor of, be of bestowing the name upon the planet with the approval of the International Astronomical Union. Now, is Planet Nine real and does it exist? According to Dr. Rebecca Harbinson of Cornell University, that's in uh, Ithaca, New York, upstate New York, the presence of a ninth planet past the cover belt could explain the bizarre orbit of at least Rive object. She said in 2015, Caltech astronomers Constantine Batigan and Mike Brown found theoretical evidence, not observational, that's what they're hunting for to get now, of a giant planet about 20 times farther from the sun than Neptune on average. Giant meaning it's about 50 times the size of Earth. The predictions of the so-called Planet Nine is mathematical and could explain the unique orbits of at least five smaller objects in the outer Kuiper Belt. As of January 2019, no observation of Planet Nine has been announced. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.